Hey, yo, it's AJO Films, and um, I, I do have a doctor's appointment later, but I actually have some time right now, so I decided um, why not uh, show you how to animate characters in Adobe Anime. Now, there are some good ones. Uh, there are some good uh, simple ones to you, simple tutorials that you can actually use of how to animate F and F characters in Adobe Anime. Uh, but um, I'm specifically going to do one here because we need more of these at this point. Uh, because for new people getting Adobe Anime, it is very and specifically wanting to make a mod out of F and F, it's very hard. Uh, but it's actually very very easy once you get the hang of it. Like it took me a little bit to find a good video that I, I got to actually first try later on. So. Yeah, so what you gotta do is open Adobe Animate, originally known as Adobe Flash. I wasn't there during that time. I mean, I, I knew it existed, but like, not anywhere else. A anyway, um, <clears throat> so now we just wait for it to load. Um, we're going to, I'm gonna grab one of Trevor Craft's characters. He's allowed me to use uh, his um, Mario model and a couple other mar models he's made for the characters in my mod versus Mario.exe. Uh, so I'm gonna just grab like a basic, uh, basic one, uh, probably just like normal Mario.exe or something, and we're gonna animate him. Um, we're gonna probably just make it like pretty simple. It's gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna be easy. We're not going to add any new things, but it, I'll make I'll make it as easy as I can to make it under understandable to people. So, yeah. Now we're just going to wait for Adobe to, um, oh, here we go. Perfect. Don't, don't mind the thing in the background. Don't mind the, the thing still loading. This is, this is what, really okay. Um, yes. Because, the, I'll, I'll just use one of the recovers, um. Now we just wait for it to load up a little more. My computer is fairly slow, so. Yeah. This usually works um, when I'm not recording. I'm guessing it's just not liking what that is happening. God damn it. Um, okay, let me try something. Did it work? Did it still be... Is... Very... Whoa, okay, um... Very... Very... Okay. I mean, we kinda got it. I have to fix a bunch of stuff again. Let's go and... Don't put that to the side here. Fix that a little more. Pop this out. There we go. So yeah, we got our basic character here. Um, what you will need to do is I got the parts already. Oh, don't mind these bitmaps. They were for uh, a different character. Basically, we got. Make sure we have the parts you need for your character. So right now we have the tor. If the character is holding something and you want to make it look more realistic, you do this part of the hand. Then you make the thumb. Then you make the fingers, and then you make the object he's holding. In this case, it's a torch with uh, some fire bars on it. So yeah, this is based off my ex Mario the EXE, or at least the Cool Rash design that is going to be in demo two. Uh, make sure that. Basically, what you gotta do is convert all of these body parts uh, to a symbol, and you gotta name them accordingly. You gotta make sure that these symbols are graphics. Uh, once you do that, I guess you can do a cool thing where you just um, go and make an asset that's folder so all these random assets won't go in the way.
won't be in the way, unlike the official FNF flaw files. Yeah. Like, seriously, those things are, like, atrocious messes. Like, trying to... Trying to find just the simplest of things. Things in there is, like, nightmare or feel. So, what you gotta do... Since you already have your character set up at this point, this isn't a drawing tutorial. You grab your pieces. You make sure all of them are symbols. So then... You go over, click insert, click new symbol, and we'll name him Mario.exe idle. You don't have to call it Mario.exe idle for yourself, for your character. Then we gotta convert it to a movie clip, specifically. So, now we have that here. The layers here. The layers are the main part of the thing, are like the entire, they what make, they're what makes the animation uh, good. So what you do is you grab your parts. So we we'll go back to scene one over here. We just control C the hell out of that. Go back to Mario.exe idle. And you paste them in. You paste the boy in like where is he? Where would he go? Um, where where? Where did he go? Maybe I have to paste this. That's it. No. Oh, there he is. Okay. So now. Here's a semi-annoying part, but it has, to, it has to you have to do this to get the animation to work. So let's start with layer one and rename it to head. There. So now we just uh, go and uh, grab one of these tools, I guess, and just nope, not no, I don't want the head. I want everything else. Christ. Okay. So we just grab, no, we just, no, we just grab, here we go. So we just copy these, I guess, and we delete that. So next we go to layer two, rename that to body. We go down here, paste it in, and put it back. So now these are two separate layers. This is an optional layer, which goes over the head called face. It's easier to have the different poses where they're speaking in different ways uh, for the fluff file. So, so what you gotta do, you gotta go back to head. Um, let's just go and uh, just, meet this, uh, block that. We're gonna go over to object and do this. Okay. Head. Okay, well I actually gotta change this back to a symbol. Shoot. Head. Go. So now let's just go over here. We grab these eyes and eyebrows. Face. Click OK. We go back to here. Oh, whoops. Fix that. Go back to here. And now. We have our face graphic here. We copy that, delete that there, then we go to the face layer, we go here, and now we have a separate face layer for the face, as well as the body. Now, hopefully you get the gist. We then have to do arms, the arms, as well as, uh, I guess, the fire as well, to make it uh, animate better, I guess, I don't know. So, what we do, we grab this, copy that, we go add a new layer, we go arm1, put it here. Now sometimes you can be a little more complex, like you can have the hand be a separate symbol, the feet be separate symbols, or maybe you can have like every part, every single sp whole uh, pixel on this uh, non-pixel vector based system be a symbol if you want to spend the eternity making one character. Um, but anyway, you just go grab this part next. We're gonna go there. We go here and we call this one arm... Oh, no. We rename layer 5 to arm 2. We go bring that behind the body because it's behind it. We paste it in. Perfect. Now, oh, we just gotta angle it down so it's 
here, and then we can uh, move the fire. Fire, we can copy these, uh, though I think uh, I should just use the library for this one. We're going to have um, this be in front of the face. So, F-I-R-E, F -I -R -E, fire. We're going to go to the library over here. Go to assets. Move these in assets, actually. So now we go to assets over here, we go find our fire over here. All right. And then, there you have it. You have everything in a separate frame. Also, um, I did this thing where you, you can also do this thing if you want like the fire to be animated, where you can go into the graphic itself and like animate it like on its own, so it's animated it when it when it, it's confusing, but okay. Um go over here. Is that so now, we actually get to animating. So, when it comes to an idle, there are three basic parts. There's the start of the animation, the main part of the animation, which we'll call the climax, and then we have the falling action, which would go he, which would revert back to normal. So we gotta add a keyframe to him to each of these. And make sure you do this first, because it would make things a lot easier. So, nah. So now, what we gotta do is um animate him. So or at least change his pose in the middle section here. So in the middle section we can change his pose. Let's have him tilt his head downwards. An easy way to like get the frames correct is you can use this thing called onion skinning. It's right here. Okay. Now we got that working. Next you might want to have the body do a little bounce, maybe like go down a bit more. Oh crap, um it's a little too short. Uh, crap. Uh, let's go. No. Give me a sec. Give me, give, give me a minute. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go. Be careful with this one. Shrink her down. There. Perfect. And maybe lower this down like it's had more. Okay. We can also uh, do this with the uh, limbs over here. Sim for auto recovery. Okay. Here. Then. Do this. Perfect. And then the fire, we'll just have it also, like, uh, go over here as well. So now we ha have the po. So now we have the, the three main parts. We have the start, climax, falling action. So now what we do is oh there we go we insert what is called a classic tween once that's done if you click on this thing here it's this thing in the middle which you have to make sure like all of these are highlighted but maybe also if you want it to be a little better you can uh, probably add a couple frames with this button here and maybe also put this so now if it's done correctly it should be animated press play and it does this little thing now, this is a little choppy, but it's probably because I... It, it may be a little bit choppy, but that's okay. We can fix that. You can fix that in post by just grouping a bunch of stuff up together with um, uh, symbols. But that's the basic idea for animating a character. Now, you just make your different character pose. You make the different poses for your characters. You can do your left, up, right, down, or maybe an attack, or other misses, or other animations. But once that's done, you let's go over and open a already completed sprite sheet. Open. I oh, always press Control S to save it if you're a uh, thing because if it will not save, if not, and it will be very bad. So let's go to flaw files over here. Let's go grab something simple. Um, let's see, Cthulhu Mario, maybe not Cthulhu ain't done. Let's go over to um, let's go over to Dreamscape Mario. We go to the Dreamscape Mario Master Flaw file over here. Let's just don't mind this. I'll just grab one of the already completed characters, Fantario, because I haven't actually made a sprite sheet of it. And this is actually uh, important. This isn't actually like. 
this works with every type of variation of like psych engine uh yoshi engine every engine actually he, he has uh, most of these user uh, adobe animate so we'll go to fantario oh fantario isn't completed never mind i i did i do not have a brain uh let's just go over to dreamscape mario then so what you do go to library make sure all of make sure all of these are movie clips then what you do is you then double click and go over to gener and click generate sprite sheet make sure you highlighted all of these before you do that so once you click generated sprite sheet you got we gotta, we gotta wait and then this will pop up when that pops up don't worry and you just when that pops up it loads there we go so now what you gotta do I already have like things in place so it like automatically does this so basically you gotta make sure it's the 32-bit um, PNG. Uh, keep all of these normal, but data format. It ha the data format has to be Sparrow 2. If it isn't, you will not get the XML file, which is the one thing that allows you to actually ha see the animations in FNF. Once that's done, you uh, pick where you want to put the character. You can click browse if you want a different place. Like you can go over to Inkweek BF or here. We can go over here. We got all these guys, and you can click save, and once you do, you can click export, and once that happens, it loads stuff up, and then in the designated place, there will be a sprite sheet and XML file waiting for you. And that's the in entire ending of this to uh, tutorial, so I hope uh, I get to make more um, screen recorded uh, things for you guys this time, and maybe better leaks and stuff for my mod. And better videos overall. Anyway, um, I will see you in the next video. Uh, goodbye.